the Zenless Zone Zero 1.3 special live stream is about to start. And of course, we're going to be covering it. So if you like the content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell to be notified of when the next Zenless Zone video, ah, Zenless Zone Zero video comes out. Sorry about that. And don't forget to check out Gamer Subs. Use code Tyster for 10% off. We got the Bloodsucker coming out literally today. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and dive in to this wonderful live stream. And here we go. That's gonna help me find my earbuds. I can't. Not right now. Hey there, proxies. Welcome to the Zenless Zone Zero. Why is the caption? Program. Hold on. Great to see you all again. I'm the intelligence broker with the hottest gossip on the scene, Mr. Z. Mr. And Z, Z baby. Is... Hello, Lady Meow. We're live now. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the show. In today's live stream. I'll be teaming up with Lady Meow. To Lady Meow, huh? What's up, Lady Meow? How you doing, we girl? Really appreciate oh. your support. Why Look, guys. So serious, Mr. I got cat ears. You're not nervous because this story is about Section 6 this time, are This story you? is about sex? I'd be like, hey, Section yo, chill, brother. ...specifically trained to handle hollow disasters. To residents of New Eridu, they're like guardians watching over us. So Yanagi's gonna be the first first person of section six, which means that we're probably gonna get uh um Miyuki, I think her name is pretty soon. Mm -hmm. As the best intel broker in New Eridu, I've infiltrated the section six fan club and got an inside scoop about the team. Oh, let's go. I'll be introducing them to you all. Let's see it. Before we get to section six, we have to first introduce hand. The Hollow Affairs and Neutralization Department. Mm -hmm. They're one of the top governing agencies in New Eridu. Where's the trailer at? The bureaucracy. <clears throat> Ooh, okay, so this is gonna be the new area. Put it that way. Although they're a high-level organization involved in city administration, Hand mainly handles matters related to Hollow disasters. Okay. As a specialized agency, Hand needs its own armed forces. Which is why they established Ooh! operations. It's me it's I think it's Miyabi or Miyubi or something like that, actually. Now that I think about it. That's right. Section six says built. I saw her in the background. So Kaku! Oh wait, I forgot. So Kaku is actually one of them. My bad. Though under normal circumstances, few get the chance to interact with them. But if that's literally just Toma. Freaking so Kaku. You might just meet this elite team. Yep. If you do run into them, consider it both a blessing and a curse. Oh, what? I literally was like, well, it's a we, I forgot that we got Yanagi, but we but we had Sokaku first. And we'll definitely rescue you. But it's also a curse. Oh my god. members are all pretty eccentric, so you still better hope for the best. That's crazy. Well, they are, they've I got like such them. a fan base. What the hell? Don't worry, everyone. There is one normal person among them that you can rely on. Mm -hmm. You mean Miss Yanagi, right? Yanagi. Right. It's not Yanagi, it's Yanagi. Also revolves around Miss Yanagi. Damn, what's up, girl? Damn, she's got thick thighs too. Hey, yo! And that the team members are Hey, yo! Come here. Mm. and team leader Miss Hoshimi Miyabi is particularly exceptional. But so we got Miyabi. Guidance, that transforms the raw power Wait, did they hide agents another five star because they wanted to be a surprise? Are they actually gonna like announce Miyabi? I hope not, because I'd be like, "Hey, yo, I'm I'm done. I'm cooked, chat. I'm cooked." All right, here we go. Trailer time, baby. What's wrong, Deputy Chief? It's probably just my imagination. But I feel like something is about to happen. Hollow Special Operations Section Six. So we're actually going to get in this area, area, which is pretty sick. Okay. This world needs your salvation. Logo, it's. I can fail countless times, but you can afford a single mistake. Ooh, getting dark. The special monster we're looking for must be you. Oh my god, she's hot. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Dude, she has the light speed thing just like Miyabi. That's pretty sick, actually.
Oh my god, the... Bro, the bounce is unreal on her. Yo, chill. Zenless on Zero does not care. I, lighter of the sons of Kaladon. Hell yeah. I'm here to issue a challenge to all of you. Bro, he's actually kind of sick. Okay, okay. You, fists. Oh wait, they're working together or? Bro, that's so sick. Wow, that was a lot of info. Were Miss Yanagi and Miss Miyabi fighting? Definitely me Definitely Miyabi is going to be the next announced S rank. Why are you always revealing information ahead of me? Where did you even source that from? Come on, Mr. Z. I'm an Intel broker too, you know. I managed to get Miyabi is literally going to be the next next S rank. What? Hello, I'm Sukashiro Yanagi, Deputy Chief and Intelligence Officer of Section 6. Is this from a public recording? Hello, Chief Sukishiro Yanagi. Sorry, I'm the Deputy Chief. The Chief of Section 6 is Hoshimi Miyabi. Please be careful not to confuse our positions. How are you having a conversation with the recording? Mm, thank you for the clarification, Miss Yanagi. I heard Section 6 was single-handedly established by Miss Miyabi, and that it's an elite team that holds a rather special position even within hand. Is there some deeper story behind it, hmm? Chief Miyabi played a key role in establishing Section 6, but it was also a decision carefully made by hand and the city administration and consideration getting a the getting a lore dump and the hollows. We share the same mission as our other colleagues at hand. To deal with hollow disasters. We kind of, of Eridu, kind of already knew that. the city's official website for public information on all divisions of hand. Oh my, quite the official answer. You sure don't let anything slip through, huh? Well, I heard that the members of Section 6 are all rather eccentric. How do you coordinate them, Miss Yanagi? Uh, you give Sokaku food. You give Miyabi and Yanagi that dick. <laughs> team is equipped to deal with any major hollow related incidents and my teammates know what they're doing so there's no need for too much supervision of course if anyone's skipping shifts or slacking off then it's my duty to discipline them hell yeah discipline me baby imagination or did the room just get colder <laughs> must be your imagination but i can tell this family would fall apart without you all right let's talk about section six's latest operation now can you tell us about what you encountered during this incident? We were invited by the HIA to test some new technology, which included trying out new equipment and recording raw data. Mm -hmm. The specifics are confidential. Ooh, I can sense something big must have happened here. Dude, that wallpaper is actually really sick. Ah, the curiosity is killing me. Looks like we'll have to find out the truth ourselves. Ooh, look at that art, bro. Episode. Oh my god, dude! I love that art style so goddamn much. That art style is so freaking good. Oh my Jesus! There's still more to the story in the outer ring, right? We're counting on you to fill us in about that. Really? Am I still qualified to do this? Go ahead. Then let's shift our focus back to the outer ring for now. Okay. Although the Torrid Inferno has concluded. The story of a certain champion remains untold. After the Tour de Inferno, I'm sure all you proxies are more familiar with Lighter now. So it's probably just going to be a, a smaller side story. But is he going to be A rank or is it going to be S rank? That's all I want to know. I know a lot of people were saying that he was going to be A rank, but I really want to know. With a bright red scarf, I'd say he's the coolest guy in my book. But the question is, why would someone so independent like him join a biker gang? Well, although Lighter might seem like quite the lone wolf, he actually cherishes every member of the Sons of Caledon. But there must be some hidden reason behind his decision to join them. A hidden reason? In that case, should we ask Lighter himself? Don't tell me you have a recording of him too. Hello, Mr. Lighter. Lighter! Why did you join the Sons of Caledon? Wait, are you really just gonna ask like that? If there's a hidden reason, he wouldn't just tell us. I owed Big Daddy a favor. 
Oh. Huh? That's it? I see. As expected of Mr. Leiter, straightforward and honest. Thanks. Thanks. Speaking of which, the tour de Inferno is I love how the lips on Leiter are like completely like out of sync. Days in the outer ring. Ah, uh, I've heard of it too. By tradition, within three days of a new overlord taking charge, anyone with past grievances can challenge the new leader to settle scores. This is also a chance for the gangs to resolve personal Thick thighs do say lies. Dude, Yanagi's lies or thighs are just mm. But in recent times, settlement days is more like a festival, and it's become rare to see anyone actually trying to make trouble for the overlord. Do you think anyone would challenge you, Mr. Leiter? Certainly seems so. See you around. Oh, yeah, I was just so out of sync. That I will say that was a little bit of a of a downer. It kind of took me out of it. Right. It doesn't seem like this. But lighter's dope. I'm super. I'm super excited for lighter. But like lighter just said, things have calmed down a bit in the past few years. In lighter's agent story, you'll receive an invitation from the sons of Caledon to participate in this. Is he just bathing in blood? As the settlement days begin, everyone in the Sons of Caledon is goofing around. Meanwhile, Lighter readily accepts challenges and steps into the arena. However, as he continues to win battle after battle, the situation starts to take an unexpected turn. And this is where you leave everyone hanging? Hey, if we give away too much, there won't be any suspense. That is true. Good job, ring, buddy. Isn't Pearlman still out cold there? We shouldn't forget. Oh yeah, I forgot about Pearlman, man. I actually did forget about that freaking weirdo. Before you proxies can get that crucial intel from Pearlman. And Section 6's elites will, through an unexpected turn of events, end up becoming involved with the Vision case. This is just the start of Bell and Wise's story with the members of Section 6. Okay. So please stay tuned for future installments. We'll probably get some sort of update to Hollow Zero as well. Because if we're going with Section 6 members, we're probably going to get a Hollow Zero thing. And get to introducing our agents. Yep, let's go. We're moving on already. Let's find out what they do. Let's dive into the intel on Miss My god, those 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 boobs are glorious. I'm the one giving the Sukishiro Yanagi. Yanagi, a member of Section 6 and an S rank anomaly agent with electrifying attacks. So she's electric. Electric. Oh, yeah, electric anomaly. Okay. Let's see what she could do. She wields a Naginata that matches her slender frame. Mm -hmm. In combat, she uses a combination of styles to take down enemies. Her special attack lets her attack enemies while changing her stance. Ooh, that's so enemies sick. Available moves will change depending on her stance. Oh, that's also sick. So she buffs. she has These different sets of moves, basically. Okay, okay. Okay, I, I can dig that. I can dig that. Simply put, as long as you keep a good rhythm of switching her stances, Yanagi can continuously receive the buffs from both stances. Oh my so god. Okay. Yanagi switches her stance every time she deals damage with a basic attack, her anomaly buildup increases. When she unleashes her EX special attack, Yanagi enters Shinra Bansho state and switches her stance. Oh my. She charges up okay. and rushes in with a forward step, followed by a powerful downward attack, dealing electric. Oh my gosh, okay. If the target is under an anomaly, Yanagi will trigger a special disorder effect without removing the target's anomaly while giving herself a buff. Now, so wait, could that double? Could that, in essence, double disorder? In combat, you can switch Yanagi in to unleash her EX special attack after her teammate triggers an anomaly, dealing extra damage while applying debuffs. In such cases, Yanagi deals massive electric damage. Oh my god! Stance to maintain her buffs. There is none of the usual gentleness that Yanagi seems to exude when activating her ultimate, only intense focus. Bro, that actually she looks so sick. Of deadly slashes. Hey, Trust yo, me, she looks so good. On her bad side when she gets serious. I'm actually stoked for her. She looks so cool. Gentle person. 
she only becomes that I think honestly her design is a little plain like she's got the big booba and thick thighs but like overall like she looks a little plain but her kit is dope I called it I knew he was gonna be s rank people were saying he was gonna be a rank y'all were wrong I knew it Thick and a pull arm. I'm coming Indeed. back, boys. He's a proud member of the Sons of Caledon, no doubt. With those golden gauntlets and that red scarf, he certainly stands out in a crowd. But truth be told, letters not one. So he's gonna be full start. on just DPS. Of course, he uses his fist. Which makes sense because he's a champion. Lighter faces his enemies head on in close range combat, and when his morale is high enough, the fifth hit of his basic attack. Sends him into an enhanced state. Hell yeah, okay. In state, he consumes morale and increases his impact to quickly stun his foes. His attacks also reduce the target's fire and ice resistance and makes them stunned longer. Okay, so he might be actually good for a... Also, when he might be good for a triple team with uh, Bernice and... Uh, okay, here we go. When he hits enemies. But there's no ice. There's no ice Sons of Caledon member. But at least. Oh, so they're going to showcase him with a freaking Ellen Joe team? Once Slider is ready to roll, you can use a quick assist to switch him in. He can hammer enemies with a continuous flurry of punches while nimbly dodging attacks. This helps him stun enemies quicker, setting up his team for some serious mm. DPS. And when it's time for his ultimate, Letter slams the ground with a power. It's an AOE that's so cool. Okay. Okay, Lighter. Fiery fists and powerful fighting style. Lighter. I knew he was gonna be an S rank too. I am so I am so glad I was right. Got it. I would have loved him as an A rank. But let's not forget but. our new Bang Boo, Baddy Boo, and Night Boo. Wait, we're getting two new Bang Boos? Any chance they'll help get our Mahjong game going? We're still short two players, you know. What? Hmm. I don't oh, think no. so. It's gonna <laughs> suck for me, man. Stay on track. After the 1.3 update, proxies can signal search in the Bang Boo channel to get Baddy Boo. A rank Bang Boo. Okay, he's A rank. Thank God. You may also get Night Boo as a reward from the event. The mystery of arpeggio fault. Okay, cool. Just so you know, the only way to obtain Night Boo as of now will be from that event. Okay, bet, bet, bet. Boo is an A rank Bang Boo who uses rockets and Molotov cocktails to deal fire damage with his active skill. When teaming up with an agent and activating a chain attack, Batty Boo leaps forward and shoots a rocket, dealing fire damage in a large area ahead. Take them all out with one big blast. Very nice. Now our other A rank Bang Boo, Nightbull, can summon stars onto the battlefield. He summons he unicorn floaties. For agents. When activating a he attack, summons he little unicorn floaties. Ponies. The ponies trample enemies ahead, dealing ether damage. That's so These crazy. And Bang Boo raring to go, okay, so it's signal searching. Oh, okay. Let's see who's gonna be in it. Half of version 1.3. Proxies will have access to the exclusive channel Moonlit Serenity and the W Engine channel Dissonant Sonata. Where you can The Dissonant Sonata with W Engine is kind of like meh. And or Time Weaver. Engine, Time Weaver. In the latter half, the exclusive channel Champion of Embers and the W Engine channel Dissonant Sonata will be offering exclusive S rank agent lighter and the S rank W engine. Blue oh, he's a stun unit. I'm dumb. Let's go. Free summons, baby. And boop on. So long as there's no S rank boop, boo, I'm good. Know that you can obtain a dynamic background when reaching trust rank four with characters. Mm -hmm. Here are Yanagi and lighters dynamic backgrounds. Let's see it. Okay. Ooh, those are not mm, get those bro. The gl and like her doing this is just is actually really hot. Are itching to team up with you all. Maybe we can squeeze in a couple rounds of mahjong before they go join our proxies. Perhaps we should drop that topic for now. Hmm. Then what topic should we talk about instead? 
Maybe something that proxies really like. Mm -hmm. Redemption code, go. Time for a redemption code. All right. So there was a lot of really, really good stuff. A lot of really good stuff. Let me go ahead. Virtual. Revenge. So here's the code, y'all. The code is virtual revenge. I'm going to post it in the ZZZ chat as well. Man, I got to say, again, another good live stream so far. But I, I called Lighter being an S rank. I already knew that Lighter was going to be the S rank. That doesn't that doesn't surprise me in the slightest. Let me just adjust this really quick. But yeah, that doesn't surprise me in the slightest. I don't know why anybody thought otherwise. People were just like, Lighter's going to be A rank. It's like, guys, come on. They're not going to make Lighter an A rank when they made him look so badass, right? They made him look so badass in the, in the 1.2 story for the Tour de Inferno. It would make no sense for him to be an A rank. But they both look really, really good. I'm excited to actually pull for both of them. With the version 1.3 update, we'll be introducing some new events and game modes too. Let's hear it. Let's take a look. First of all, Miss Yanagi and Mr. Lighter's stories are coming. Mm -hmm. Right. In version 1.3, our new stories will be available through the themed event TV schedule. This event has unique tokens, which proxies can earn from story broadcast and warm up exercises. And then exchange them for rewards. Okay. In Sugishiro Yanagi's program in the TV schedule, Moonlight Tracer. So we'll get only 200 moniker or, uh, yeah, and polychrome stages. from that. Meanwhile, in Lighter's TV schedule program, the champion, not only can you find Lighter's story and stages, he can also check out the special play in which players can use Lighter. Dude, that, that animated background is really cool. What? Will give a buff. So it's gonna play like we freaking double Lider dragon and stuff. That's so Instead cool, like a beat em up. Proxies can designate an agent as a supporting character. Mm -hmm. Call them in at the right times to summon them and have them unleash their skills. Timing your support character right can lead to additional buffs. As for our combat lovers, we've added a Simul new permanent gameplay mode. Ooh. The simulated battle trials. New permanent game mode? After exhilarating battle, proxies can steadily climb higher on the tower. Oh, so it's like tribe tower from Nikkei a little bit. Upon reaching a certain floor, the higher you climb, the shinier your metal gets. Bro, that's actually cool. Okay. Keep this in mind. The higher you climb, the tougher your opponent. Okay. And your agents won't recover until you complete the entire phase. Like your HP, for example. Agents will retain the amount of HP they had from the previous battle. When an agent falls okay. in battle, proxies can select a replacement from their reserves. Okay. As you keep going through the challenge, you will unlock more agents to choose from. Yep. And enemy abilities will get stronger in simulated battle trials, too. For example, when you beat one of the twin bosses, they resurrect faster than in regular fights. Yeah, we noticed that in the other one. Flexible with your teams to conquer that tower. Go for it, proxies. I'm actually pretty stoked in for addition, that. I think that's cool. A new roguelike gameplay mode in Hollow Zero called The Mystery of Arpeggio Fault. This mode is split into five chapters. Each chapter has multiple floors of randomly generated areas waiting to be explored. As you can see, in this mode, proxies will encounter various events as they explore using the HDD. You can fight enemies by ramming their tiles and defeat them by literally bumping into them with sufficient combat. Okay. Power. In addition, you can even loot some NPCs via board combat. Like this innocent shopkeeper here. <laughs> Let's help ourselves to all the loot. Looks like even the store owners can't resist the proxy's sheer power. I mean, their sharp wit. Also in this game mode, instead of applying to combat, Rizonia will affect the HDD TV monitor board. Okay. The Bengu you get in game will show up as special Bengu Rizonia, following proxies and okay. bonus effects. During exploration, proxies will gain EXP which can be used to activate the blessing group chosen at the start to boost your exploration abilities. That's kind of cool. I mean, you can move on it's still weird because it's the TV thing, the but yeah, I mean, that could be cool. Skill tree while outside the game mode. 
giving you even more buffs for your next adventure. Yeah. And the neat thing is, the buffs you get from the skill tree are completely up to you. So, proxies can customize their okay. skills to I can dig that. style. Now that we've talked about the gameplay, let's discuss rewards. There are both permanent So that's how you get the knight, okay? Rewards. Besides polychromes, proxies can also get the new bang boo, night boo. I won't delve into the details here. Let's leave it to our proxies to explore for themselves. Oh, and I heard that the HIA is hosting a new event too. There, proxies can engage in test battles with different buffs for each Okay, so another battle sim. Okay, okay. These events are good so far. I like the TV one's going to be a little like meh, but I want to try it out because it look I like the difference. So don't miss out if that sounds like something you're into. Dude, she kind of got cake though. Have you heard the buzz about breaded belief in New Eridu? They're gearing up to open a pop-up store at Lumina Square soon. Wow, perhaps we'll bump into some familiar faces. Not only that, word has it that the chef needs some help to host a special group of lucky customers. Lend a hand and you might score a spot as a VVVIP customer at the store. And beef and cheese sandwich. Mm. I want a beef and cheese sandwich. Boo dreaming big dreams. Apart from this recruitment for catering What's services, that gold thing right there for the with the Bang Boo looking thing? Too. What is the that? Enna assistant program event is coming your way in version 1.3. During this event, proxies can visit different Bang Boo each day to accept tasks. Take oh, okay. notes for the Bang Boo and assist the coach in checking on the results of their training. Those Bang Boo can be a handful. If you want to check the results of their training, you gotta start by counting them. Don't let any distractions throw you off. Bang Boo always so here comes here comes the the goofy event, okay? The goofy one. I mean, again, it's it's basically gonna be freebie. It's basically gonna be a freebie event. It is what it is. How many events are there actually going to be? I mean, I'm not complaining. More free stuff is great. Ooh, Son Z the band. Let's go. All the latest gadgets. Swing by and check it out. Don't just window shop. If you see something you like, grab it and show off your latest find. Okay, so we actually get a little like second floor of the videos. I can dig that. That's pretty cool. Nice. In addition, we will be getting double drops events for combat simulation and routine cleanup. Let's go. Bring keep bringing those back. Keep bringing it. In version 1.3, we optimized the layout of the France system, expanding the size of the name card and adding a section to display titles and badges. Okay. Proxies will be able to get various titles from events and from Agent Trust. You can only equip one title. And as for these badges, you can earn them from various game modes and have multiple on display at once. Okay. Of course, if you'd more customization. Any titles or badges, that's totally fine too. Just change your title or toggle both off through your social settings. With all those events, proxies will have their hands full for a while. Yeah. But uh. wait, there's more. I know you've got a whole list of optimizations too. Come on, spill. All right. Let's hear the optimizations. In version 1.3, we've tweaked the functionality, appearance, and gadgets for the compendium. For example, we've improved how daily tasks are displayed under the errands tab. Now, okay. even if your engagement is maxed out, you'll still see incomplete tasks marked out with the go to button for easy access. We've also revamped the weekly tasks at the very left under the errands tab. This update introduces a new interface and way to choose tasks. Which refresh weekly. Okay. This update will drop on November 11th, a week after the new version is released. Moreover, the challenge tab has been renamed to combat for better clarity. Under the combat tab, you'll find new ways to access standard game modes, like the investigator training course in version 1.2 and the new game modes that will be added in version 1.3. We've added a new tactics tab on the far right side of the compendium. Proxies can use it to access combat tutorial stages. Getting more We're we're a little we're a little ahead guys. Let let the let the actual like thing board. catch up. 
Plus, you can access free training and your cooperation exercises from here, too. Okay. All these training exercises are now conveniently grouped together. Yeah, and also, we've optimized the interfaces, layouts, stores, and the claiming of rewards. For Notorious Hunt, Shiyu Defense, and Hollow Zero. We've also added a new related agent feature for Expert Challenge, Notorious Hunt, okay. and Routine Cleanup. Where proxies can now check agents Let's go. materials and disk drives from That makes it... Wow, okay. That is dope. To building your agents, we've made a number of changes regarding materials, drive disks, W engines, and more. For example, we're adding a quick craft slash dismantle function in version 1.3. Okay. In the past, when you were short on materials, you could either craft with lower level mats, dismantle more advanced ones, or use comprehensive ones to fill in the gaps. Right. However, only materials one level lower were considered before. Oh, so the actual okay. The now checks for materials across levels. Let's you go, dude. Finally. Interfaces, crafting Finally, level. brother. And instead get everything you need on a single pop-up window. Provided you have enough necessary materials. Bravo. Yep. So if you're running low on materials one level down, but have plenty of even lower level materials, you can craft across levels with a single action. Thank I you. Like it. So good. But while we've always been able to craft low level materials into more advanced ones, then maybe we should let other items have a go too. Version 1.3, we're extending this handy feature oh. to the disk master copy. Oh! So, proxies will be able to craft more advanced tuning items to get Okay, I can dig that. That's awesome. It is handy. Oh, yeah. And that's not the end of it. We've added a new sort by time to the drive disk menu. Then I can also sort my drive disks by when I got them and dismantle them in batches now, too? Exactly. We've optimized the whole drive disk dismantling experience. We've made it so you can sort your drive disks when dismantling, making it a breeze to filter disks that you don't need. Okay. Plus, the old select all has been replaced by quick select. Just a tap, and you can select all drive disks of a specific grade. Thank you. We were just dealing with that yet yeah, this whole stream. Button for dismantling drive disks and W engines. And the original filter button is now an icon with text for better clarity. These minor UI changes can really amp up the whole experience. Mm -hmm. Also, in version 1.3, you can pin your favorite agents and bang boo. You can pin uh -oh. your agents and bang boo for the agent menu. Jane Doe's going at the top, top, baby. Deployment interface Jane Doe to the top. Now you can find your faves with ease. And let's not forget about the tweaks in the drive disk selection screen over at the music store. Mm -hmm. Now you can view more sets at once. Moreover, we've added quick access from the drive disk recommendations interface. Overall, these touches are Bravo. about smoothing out the bumps. Thank God. Experience. It was the last of the Hoyoverse games. All that excitement drained my energy. Time for a cat nap. Huh? Wait. Hey, hang on a little longer. Lady Meow. Oh, Lady is there something else? Don't worry, proxies. We're professional intel brokers. Even if we're nodding off, we'll stay hanging on. Well, that's a wrap for today. Oh, damn. Thanks for tuning in. I and thought there was something time. else for a Bye. second. Dude, that's awesome. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, snap. Is this going to be the first really big baddie? Well, that was an awesome live stream. I I will say that I don't think it was the best of the ZZZ live streams, but it was really, really good. A lot of good things coming. Uh, obviously, Yanagi and Lighter, both of the new S rank, uh, you know, peoples, you know, <laughs> the S rank agents, you know. Uh, lots of really, really good events overall that look like they're coming. Um, we got new Bang Boos. Uh, thankfully, no new uh, uh, discs to farm, so that's great. 
big optimizations coming in where you can actually use lower ranked materials the green materials to make purples uh we're getting obviously recommended sets now which is fantastic new filter options story looks like it's going to be really dope uh i'm pretty sure like they're building up to miyabi in the next update right um so yeah i'm pretty stoked overall about what is coming to zzz in 1.3 i think that this is in essence i i think people will probably say a filler patch but i don't think it's a filler per se i think it's going to be more so just we're getting ready for the next step in ZZZ story. So with that being said, that's going to be it for today's video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below what you're most excited for when it comes to ZZZ's next big update. And don't forget to check out Gamer Subs. Like I said, later today, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we will be releasing the Bloodsucker Waifu Cup Drop, which has a bunch of stuff like a new shirt, new sweatshirt, new sweatpants, a coaster set, and a brand new hat alongside the wonderful Bloodsucker uh, you know, cup. And it's fantastic. And when you order the cup, you're going to be getting three sus snacks for free. And make sure you use code TYSTRA to get 10% off on top of that. I think that's a big deal right there. So, anyways, y'all, that's going to be it. Love you to death. And as always, we will catch you in the next video. Please take care and be safe.